say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back um, we are in um, the month of October and I want to say to each and every person um, thank you um, for returning each month and thanks to all the people who have win um, wonderful um, situations um, this is going to be a wonderful month because um, we are finally getting out of the month of um, um, September which was um, really <laughs> I am so happy that the month of September is over I honestly I'm very very happy that it is over because it was such a tragedy month um, in the sense of the energies and the situations that was um, there was not one of the most positive positive energies that was coming out so um, it's good um, it's good when um, these sort of energies release us because um, what is going to happen and what is trans uh, and transpiring is that um, we need to find um, balance okay and it was just not a month of balance. It was just unbelievable. There was just so many things that has been happening. Now we're calling up on the angels and guides um, to actually bring in um, some positive energy um, because um, we are going to be having, um, it's like more of a spiritual energy. It's, it's like after the turbulence in September, um, the angels and guides are coming in. This is um, a month of um, the um, the Halloween, so we're calling up the angels and guides um, to direct these readings um, because there is going to be a, a need of direction in this month also. Um, it's a good month to manifest. So, um, for people who wants to manifest, that Thursday is going to be good for manifestation. Okay, Thursday is a wonderful um, day in this month that is going to be good to put your um, wishes and dream out there in the universe, and then see what is going to be coming back. But Thursday is basically a very very wonderful month. Um, the energy of the month is um, the energy of the hermit. And the energy of the hermit is that people are going to be looking at themselves, um, them shadow side, but yet they're looking more inwards for guidance or um, are looking for spiritual, um, a way of, you know, sharing the spirituality of finding out what is there, what is the next um, thing that you have. What is so brilliant about this month, which is just so, um, wonderful is that and I'm here looking I'm using this deck um, thanks to Miss Sadie um, this was a gift from Sadie I've done um, is a tumors deck it is very wonderful and that's why I use it for the month of um, September this is the back this is a really advanced deck this is a deck for multi-dimensional beam it can be very weird for you guys but we're going to go in it in a bit okay we're going to go in it in a bit first we're going to look at the energy so um it's a water month it's a month of healing um the energies that is in this month is the blue energy really light blue energies sky blue um wow this mean but the sky blue energy is, is it means that we're about to align ourselves. I hope you guys have heard the first part. We're about to align ourselves, which is um, wonderful energies. Okay, so um, it is a month of four weeks. Um, these four weeks are wonderful. 
um, um, and in these four weeks what is happening and what is transpiring for you guys in this four weeks is that there is just going to be a lot of situation that is going to be um, and Elin is going to be taking place there's just a lot of situation where Elin's are going to be taking place and this is good because we're coming towards the end of the month and this is another year that we um, you, you know you're finished and you're moving forwards and you're coming towards the end of the month um, and the end of the year and these situations are coming in and we can't stop like certain things that needs to come in we basically needs to align ourselves with whatever the energies that is coming this is why I keep on telling people that you need to be very positive whatever is happening in your life however it is looking at that time and whenever it is happening you just need to align yourself with positive energy positive people and positive situation and no matter what the situation is just know that and have Fate that there is going to be um, a positive outcomes okay it's a month of Halloween and these cards are fit for Halloween um, and please give and um, please really um, leave a message about how you feel about these cards that I'm going I'm, I'm going to use so as we look um, Thursday is a good day to manifest I love the energy of the graphics because it's just so positive Thursday out is, is a very outstanding month uh, day in the month for manifestation um, to happen what I'm loving is that basically um, like all the colors that are here for the energy because it's like the rainbow ray is working to um, with the energy vibration so the rainbow ray is like the rainbow but it's the different colors of ray and the colors that are coming out in this month is just so um, um, wonderful because um, there is the energy of the light blue energy that is coming in Thursday is a powerful this is orange orange is uh, um, really uh, manifesting at the time of manifestation which is good um, the blue is as the alien but orange and it is really standing out because it has 11 10 so it has three times one so it's um, it's a, it's a manifest many manifestation energies that is here which is very vital for people who wants to manifest things for the Christmas actually October is the best month to manifest for the Christmas okay as we um, move forward and we're looking at the other graphic now um, there is this aqua blue energy and that aqua blue energy is coming up for um, the Sundays okay so whatever is happening with Sunday and Monday this aqua blue energy is coming up on it the great the grade of energies that is coming and palpitating in on this planet is unbelievable um, as we go to the end of the year we can see the energy changing now I have a surf a circuit um, graph and this circuit graph um, the vibrational energy that is coming up is between Sunday and Monday whatever is happening between Sunday and Monday this is very powerful because this is what I'm looking at now which is 35% 35% and this is between Sunday and Monday the energy vibration of healing or releasing is a very very positive because it is the blue energy um, with Elin releasing what is also good and this is good Tuesdays is another wonderful powerful day 29% um, 29% on Tuesday which is the green energy which is your financial stability and your materialistic Tuesday are good days to ask for your finance for financial help that is um, a very positive day 29% in this month which is extremely good that's quite high um as we look at Wednesday Wednesday we have 11 percent um, Wednesday is always a day of healing always a day of uh, releasing what no longer serve you okay and as we said Thursday you have 10 percent um, of manifestation and there is the in uh, 11 10 11 10 is good because the manifestation um, the number one energy is the new energy and this is um, extremely positive Friday is a day of uh, um, uh, trying to figure out 
um, what it is that's eight percent Friday eight percent the energy is is more of a mustard type of energy where it's as if your old energy has been plucked out and now you need to revitalize yourself and this is what is happening on Friday now Saturday is seven percent um, your energy is very low the energy vibration is very low on Saturday so um, be aware and align with that because it's just seven percent and that's why I like using um, this graphic as I've said before um, there's only um, it's, a, it's a month of healing it's light blue it's baby blue it's sky blue and it goes up to um, between um, 27.8 percent of the energy vibration of healing and this gradually goes up because you can see here the energy of um, the little dots or um, in the first week but as we go to the second week you have this huge lump of and of, of energy coming coming in for Elin so whatever you need to release in your life um, you Sunday night to Monday um, this Elin will occur because there's 35% energy vibration of doing Elin whatever you want to release out of your life Sunday night to Monday is a, a, a very positive in this month um, it is it is basically um, very good because I'm seeing um, small energy drops but positive energy drops that is going up and you know going up 60% if you have a spatial energy or a time or a time span of doing a healing whether you're doing healing with with um, whether you're doing healing with a, with a um, a candle or whatever you're doing healing with this is going to be very positive for you and this is going to be coming out in a positive way okay so um, I try to put up the graphics but it's not really working I'm going to try and put them up on my um, on the um, notice board on YouTube and let's see how that is going to be working out okay so um, this month is a month of the hermit is a month of going with within and the helpers that you have so we have the month of the hermit okay the helpers um, this hermit is just so fun the fantabulous this is like uh, because this is the month of Halloween it's a good month to um, heal and uh, and to manifest and this energy of this hermit is just one of the most fantastic energy that is in the deck honestly um, we have four weeks the weeks is uh, week 40 week 41 42 43 which is um, you can see that we're ending this year but this energy of the hermit is coming in with just wonderful um, energies of just positive situations it's as if a mystery magic is coming in your life just very mysterious very magical thing is coming in your life and this hermit is a woman this time and it's not a man and I love this card deck because it has so many different different energy vibration color people it's a multicultural and a multi-dimensional deck she uh, this hermit is coming up as a woman power to the women so no offense men but at least it's the first hermit woman that has been coming up okay this is wonderful this is like Halloween this is like a, a magical mystical things is about to happen so it's a good month to manifest and this is going to be positive now the help that you guys have um, with this month because the hermit comes back in the month energy in the third week is the energy of transformation okay and as you look at this transformation this transformation is going to be happening in a lot of wonderful ways because you have the energy of the Pentacle so it's transformation with your financial situation but also you have new start which is the candle um, and, and you can see two new candles but here you can see seven eyes okay and this is the ending of something and some of you are going to be very victorious with this ending whatever that is happening whatever that is transpiring you are going to be having some victorious ending so um 
it is a month um, where this is going to affect a lot of people no matter what element you're carrying in your zodiac sign um, no matter what element you're carrying in your zodiac sign it's just going to be a very very positive month ending okay um, uh, so we're going to be leaving these out so you have um, a victorious so a lot of stuff is going to be ending in this month but we have a lot of traveling that is going to be happening okay we have a lot of endings but a lot of traveling and a lot of new beginnings that is going to be coming in for a lot of people because whenever endings comes I'm seeing a lot of people moving away what is so positive whatever movement you decide to do is going to be in a positive direction and whatever you decide to um, do um, it's good for you to make that decision because you'll be um, um, deciding on strong ground whatever direction you decide to take you're not on a horse um, you know you are going to be making the right decision and it's going to be in the right um, part now there's something that I have to align you with with the energy of these cards um, because they don't come in the, the cups and that sort of a thing they come in different sort of an energy vibration where we have the veils um, the um, the tomb which is the, the, the um, money but as I go along I will explain to you guys now the first week we have a fire week okay and we also have this energy as also the helper and the first week we have a fire week now the fire week this week for the Leo's this is going to be a very important week for the Leo's okay the Leo's are going to be affected the Leo's and the Aquarians can be affected in this first week some of you could be overcoming a situation and some of you are going to decide to move away from a situation which serves you no more so there is going to be different scenarios for different people but especially the Leo's and the Aquarians this is going to affect you in the first week so be aligned with that in the second week we have the energy of strength um, you can see definitely that this month is about to this year is about to him I love the energy of the strength because it's as if you are trying to fight off whatever negative energies are coming at you you're definitely decided to fight off whatever negative energies and you're blocking people and situation okay this this um, strength energy is that there is so many negativity that is around you and it's on you that you're um, basically trying to fight off and remove those a sort of a situation and you some of you are going to go in a battle some of you are really going to be going in a battle okay then we have the energy in the third week of you looking within um, it's as if your angels and guides are bringing light to a situation that you weren't seeing okay um, as I look at the energy in this week for you guys I've, in this one for you guys it is um, two fire fire week and then a water week okay and then a fire week so you um, people um, you um, um, Pisces in the third week because this is the week of the Pisces the third week is going to be the week of the Pisces the third week is going to be when the Pisces are going to be looking within to make a decision um, so we're going to be um, seeing how that is going to be affecting you Pisces but um, get ready because um, you guys in the third week you're going to be looking within to find out um, the right decision to make because you are going to be needing to make a decision in the third week um, sometimes um, uh, it affects the, 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 the cancer and the scorpion but for the moment the Pisces are going to be highly affected in the third week because this is the energy of your energy vibration you Pisces you Pisces align yourself with the hermit you have the energy of the hermit and the Virgos and the Capricorns it's going to affect because you guys are um, the spiritual ones and the Aquarians so the third week is going to be affected the people who has the most energy vibration of um, 
aligning yourself with the proper energies around you okay and when I said the proper energies around you is that um, for people who are very psychic this is going to be having a huge effect on them um, in this time and at this time in this time period it's going to have a huge effect on you guys okay because it's as if um, something is going to be opening up and you're going to be deciding um, it's, a, it's, it's as if um, your guides and angels are going to be showing you something so you scorpion also it's going to affect you scorpion a lot okay in the third week for a week a wonderful um, positive week the wheel of the fortune um, this we're going to be looking deeper to see who is it going to be affecting because this is a wheel of the fortune this is wonderful it's as if you're shedding you manifest and now the energy of the wheel of fortune comes out now the wheel of fortune um, have to do with the Aries and the Leo's um, somehow the Aries and the Leo's um, have this energy vibration because the Sagittarians are um, blessed with the planet of Jupiter and the Aries and the Leo's always share the energy of the wheel of fortune but this wheel of um, fortune can affect anyone the um, the chariot and the wheel of fortune um, affects anyone okay um, some of the others so it says the hermit it affects the psychic people like the Virgos the Capricorn or the Virgos um, the Aquarians um, and Virgos Aquarian and the fire sign is sometimes it's the Sagittarians so um look out for that oh my god let's go let's see what is going to be happening for you guys okay so uh, let's see what is going to be coming out for you guys so and the first week going on in the second week um the first week going on in the second week you have the energy of the visionaire and organization now the visionaire whatever the situation is that you guys are doing with an organization sorry whatever is happening with an organization um, you're going to overcome this you have to find inner strength but you're going to be overcoming this okay so if you have to deal with other groups of people organization institutes and that sort of a thing anything that has to do with visionary and that sort of a thing where other people are and you you you're you're fighting this and you're going to be overcoming this and so not to worry okay I not to worry about what is going to be happening let's see what is happening from the second week in the third week you have the energy of the eye princess so you have the eye princess connecting um, with um, you have the eye princess connecting with the hermit now this is a really psychic period so the people who are psychic it's going to be very high energy vibration because you have strength and the hermit is showing you um, what is happening and your inner wisdom and guidance so there's a lot of connection with your guiding angels and information that is going to be coming out um, from your guiding angels towards you so um, psychic people so it says the Virgo um, um, the Virgo the Capricorns the um, Pisces and the Scorpio um, the second week going in the third week is going to be very powerful okay because for the Scorpion in the third week is as if your your um, your psychic is going to be on top. It's as if you're going to be receiving information. In the third week, going in the fourth week, you have the energy of the sun. Now the sun with the wheel of fortune is just success coming up. So this is going to be wonderful um, for the Aries and the Leos. It's just going to be positive, but it's going to affect also other signs. So as we go deeper in the zodiac sign to look at each different zodiac, then you will see who is it going to affect because the sun. And I'm loving the energy of the sun. It's the red roses and all of these. The sun uh, and um, the energy of um, here, the energy of the um, the lotus, um, which is there, the the flower of life. So the sun with a wheel of fortune is good. Um, you know, um, 
it's as if some of you are going to be receiving dreams of your guiding angels or giving you numbers for dreams that is what they're saying your guiding angels are going to be giving you numbers for dreams okay for the dream time and that is going to be good so um that is going to be um a very positive it's not bad you have the visionary so some of you could be connecting with a spiritual organization or um, you could be connecting with psychic for um, more information I'm seeing that happen it's always in the month of October uh, that people will do that sort of a thing now the five of tombs fell out um, for the second week the second week the five of tombs fell out which is the five of Pentacles okay so um, what is happening and what is transpiring is that you have to deal find it in the strength to deal with the organization and it has to do listen to your intuition and guidance listen to your intuition and guidance whatever is happening listen to your intuition and guidance about your financial stability and your financial situation then we have in the third week we have the energy of the star so end in the month that the, the, the end of the month is going to be very positive because we're ending the month and we're leaving the Librans and um, going in the energy of the, the scorpions we're leaving the Libras and going in the energy of the scorpion we're going in a more water energy and the energy of the star comes out and this is um, the energy of the Aquarians that could be coming in um, to support you guys so um, be aligned and um, open up for this so this this as I said I really had um, I expect that um, the energy of the star is always the energy of the star um, is always 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 um, an Aquarian so um, some of you could be um, for you Aquarian in the third week is going to be extremely positive for you Aquarians in the third week because you're seeing here that your own energy vibration is going to be coming up in the third week your psychic is going to be very high it's as if your angels and guides are going to be connecting with you via the dream time bringing in information and this information you're going to be using and this is going to bring you financial stability the wheel of fortune is going to be coming up and bringing you financial stability okay so whatever the situation with a five of tombs the five of pentacles it could be some of you are feeling an hardship or you know it is very hard getting through the spirit especially with an organization or group of people who are on top of you whatever the situation is but um, let's see what is going to be the outcomes of this month The six of tombs you're going to be receiving help so um, this is wonderful um, this is a very very wonderful because as you um, realize what is um, transpiring you have the energy of strength and a visionaire the energy of strength in the second week and, and a visionaire and with the five of tombs which is the five of um, the five of tombs which is the five of pentacles so what is happening and what is transpiring and what is um, really affecting you um, is going to be resolved because here we are um, as we connect as we connect with these energies here we are seeing that there's going to be wonderful positive energies the energy of the six of pentacles is here so some of you are going to be receiving help um, it could be from um, your intuition and guided angels um, aligning you um, by bringing you to the right places at the right time um, so that you can connect with the right people and right situations um, what is happening because um, the second week to the third week it's where your intuition is where um, you know urge angels people are going to be coming in to help you to understand certain situations and um, it is good for the Tauruses. Um, this 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 ending is basically good for the Tauruses and 
the Capricorns for whatever reason is is because uh, six of six of pentacle energy or will um, bring up the energy of the Taurus and the Capricorns because they basically will want to help people and connect with people now it's really not a bad month if you ask me um, as we look we have the energy of the cherry and a lot of movement is coming in the first week whatever is happening there's going to be a lot of movement with an organization if some of you are feeling down and out and feeling stuck or whatever movement is going to be starting in the first week of October and I'm looking for my <laughs> okay so movement are going to be happening in the first week of October and this is going to be good um, second week of October um, what we're seeing here for the second week of October is that um, people who works with your intuition your intuition is going to be extremely high um, listen to your own intuition over a group of people or other people that you have to deal with or a Taurus okay listen to your own intuition about this um, and um, what is going to be happening especially for uh, it could be the strength is the Sagittarian um, you Sagittarian this second week is going to affect you Sagittarians okay um, if you Sagittarians are dealing with an organization a group of people listen to your own intuition listen to your own intuition as you do that it's going to come out good but listen to your own intuition um, there is some money you know if you Sagittarians are having financial problem it's going to be good so, some help is going to be coming in for you um, I want you Sagittarians to really listen to your intuition because if you listen to your intuition there is some positive energy that is about to align you it's as if you're going to be the star of a situation um, you're going to become the star um, people are going to be awarding you some awards are going to be coming out for you Sagittarians okay some awards is going to be coming out for you Sagittarians um, as we look at the third week for you scorpion um, your intuition listen to your intuition about a situation and use your intuition with an organization some of you scorpion are going to be having a problem with the organization but it's going to be okay it's going to be okay you're going to be coming out um, good at the end of you're going to be getting over the situation whether it's a legal situation a legal matter or whatever it is okay as we look at the wheel of fortune and the Sun together with the star which is just so powerful so positive it's going to be good it's going to be affecting a lot of people so um, that's why I guide people to look at the general energies because um, you will see that um, it has an effect on each zodiac energy because you can see here the wheel of fortune the Sun and the star and help is coming in um, each zodiac have to come back and look and see what is happening in their last week because there is where all the surprise lie and of course this last week has to do with Halloween so it, whatever you make whatever wishes you make in the beginning um, this is going to be coming back in um, the last week uh, you know it's a beautiful month I'm going to take the picture and make sure that um, I'm aligning the picture um, for you guys to see because it's going to be a beautiful month now I love this deck because this deck has an extra outline and we are going to look and see whatever else is coming up so um, we can align uh, we're going to do a nine um, someone who um, used the vibration of nine I work on the nine energies because I'm from a planet that we work on high frequency energy and it's the nine energy so um, I always do um, nine layout whatever I always do nine layout cards oh my god yes okay all right this extra is an extra part on the cards but um, it's a very advanced card and a lot of people won't understand um, certain energies that is coming in so um, I do it as an extra um, for the reading 
I have to uh, take it out because then a lot of people are not going to be understanding um, certain situation okay so we're looking at the, the energy on the um, ninth frequency the ninth frequency dimension um, which is information that is on the list in this general reading okay and this is why all the general readings are going to be free you don't have to go on on demand for the extra general reading because they're all going to be free okay so in the center of your month is the dream of tombs so a lot of people are going to be um, thinking about let me show you all right um, the dream of tombs so a lot of people are going to be thinking about how to make their financial stability much better so you're dreaming about a better financial stability there it is um, that looks like a baby oh no you're studying and trying to figure out how um, to um, balance your financial stability and this is good um, because the dreamer you have to dream to make sure your dream uh, become manifest okay so it is a positive energy to use the energy of the dreamer because basically if you don't dream of something um, you're not going to be aligned um, to bring out this thing so it is a month where a lot of people are dreaming that their financial stability will be good for the rest of the year or ending this year off okay and what we have as the over is the Empress so this is going to be a good month for a lot of people and their financial um, ability and then um, we have also the help here of the Explorer of the candle now the Explorer of the candle um, is the energy of the fire so you're exploring your passion okay you're exploring your passion is a month where people are going to be going within to explore their passion okay um, and then the nurturer is uh, um, the Empress so it's all about your financial stability your material world in this month this is what all of you are going to be working on so um, some people uh, each and every person are going to try to think how are they going to balance out their financial situation um, so when Christmas come and this is the month that we always start listening or start working um, to figure out how are you going to balance this out I'm loving this deck so far it's a beautiful deck it's the first time so thanks to Sadie um, okay so we have the mystic of the tombs so it's all about money now this is someone who will help you um, to balance out your financial situation this is someone um, who is going to come in as a magician um, who is going to help you to align yourself with a positive energy of how um, to manifest money this is the manifester of money that is going to be coming in now he is aligned with the last week that's why the energy of the wheel of fortune the Sun and the star and help the six of Pentacles so he's aligned with the last week so he's going to be coming in to manifest with the wheel of fortune and the Sun together this is the magician who is going to be coming in to manifest financial abundance in your life your materialistic world he's going to be coming in to help you in the last week as we look we have another magician of the veils now the magician of the veils is a very positive person he is going to be helping you with your emotional situation and he's going to come up and stand in the, in the month he's going to be there all month he's going to come in the ending of the second week going in the third week he's going to come in together he's going to work with the energy of the um, hermit and they together with strength because the strength energy um, is going to be coming in to help you especially he is going to um, magically yields your emotional um, stress he's going to magically yields your emotional stress this is the energy 
of the ace of pentacles this person is the helper that he brings mag magical solution to your emotional situation so um, I'm loving the magicians who are coming in because you have the magician of the tomb and then you have the magician of the emotional we have the explorers of the tomb so a lot of people and this is so aligned and I leave the other space um, the explorer of the tomb is someone who is going to be going um, out to see um, what kind of business plan how can they manifest new business in their life they're going to be studying how they can align themselves with more financial abundancy whether to um, start working for themselves doing something for themselves whatever it is they are here to help out okay and this is going to be coming in um the uh, he's going to be coming in um the end of, of the third week going in the fourth week now we have um the mystical of the bells no the mystical of the bells is um the swords energy okay this is um someone who is going to be mysteriously um either bringing information to you or you are going to be give, um, receiving or accepting or giving out information okay and this is the mystic that is going to be coming in to either you know give you surprising information um this can come in via earth angels people who like myself but, but they are going to be coming in this can be just a friend that you haven't seen for a very long time uh, you're in the supermarket this person come in and say hey so 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 and get by that they're giving you uh, information that is going to be helping you and this is going to be wonderful okay this is wonderful so you have a beautiful month because there's a lot of mystical energies these are like um, the energies of um, Saint Germain and the mystical energies of the fairies and um, the kabouters and that sort of a thing that is coming in now in the first week in the first week you have the energy of the creator of veils so in the first week the creator of veil is going to come in to help you to create harmony and balance in your life she's going to be coming in to help you to create harmony and balance in your life and this is going to be very positive because what is going to be happening and what is going to be transpiring is that by doing and creating this harmony and balance in your life she's going to help you to release some um uh, karmatic uh, uh, emotional situation that you have been holding on this is going to be happening basically in um, the first week going in the second week then we have the dreamer of the veils the dreamer of the veils this is so positive because the dreamer of the veils what she is going to be doing for you is that she is going to help you to dream of emotional stability and balance and inner peace okay she's going to teach you how to dream of harmony balance emotional stability how you can regain that and by you dreaming this and sending it out in the universe you're going to be able to balance out your own life and own emotional situations that is around you the explorer of the bells is here now the explorer of the bells is someone going out to research information this is going to be coming in in the third week going in the fourth week someone um, you are going to be going out there to explore to find information to find intel um, information that is going to help you and uh, it could be a study some of you are going to be um, passing an exam because you're exploring um, you're really really exploring whatever you're doing whatever project you're working on whatever you're trying to figure out and understand you're exploring it and it's it's going to be a fine week the third week going in the fourth week to explore information or to research information because it's going to be positive okay it's going to come out um, being very positive the outcomes 
um, of your month the creator of tombs the creator of tombs so here we are again I'm seeing that all the energies of the tombs comes out it's all about your financial stability it's all about you learning how to magically manifest money in your life um, dreaming of how to manifest money in your life researching exploring ways to manifest money in your life and the creator of tombs is here to help you to create how you create money in your lives okay rich people don't get rich just like that people don't sit on their ass and get rich just like that they first um, dream of it and then they explore the possibilities and then they create it and this is what this energies are, are trying to help you to do so it's a wonderful um, month it's all about working on financial stability and also um, exploring different possibilities what I love about this month is that it's a magical month um, because the mystics the mystics are um, those helpers that come in with magical solution they will teach you how to manifest they manifest and you have the manifester of um, money coming in you have the manifester of um, the emotion here and then you have the manifest of informa information and how you manifest information is the way how you um, bring out whatever that you need to say whatever that needs to come out and then you have the creator of the veils the creator that helps you to create harmony peace and balance within you but also within other situations around you so this is um, very very beautiful I want to say to each and every person I'm wishing you a, you know a really wonderful um, month and um, I'm hoping for each and every person that whatever you're looking for in this month you will manifest it I love you guys please remember to like share um, this this is a numerological um, the general readings please like share these and namaste until next time